help, please. I really wish I could, man. But it looks like you've already been vored alive by that tree. It's kind of a you problem at this point. Hi again, guys. And have you ever been out and about when you see a warning sign that makes you just a tad nervous? It tells you something super specific you shouldn't do if you want to stay alive or at least stay in one piece. Yeah, if you hate them, I'm sorry. We're going to be looking at some of them today. I sure hope the implication of scary things that you can't see don't make you scared. <laughs> if you enjoy this video, there will be this big card at the end that takes you to another one like it. And did you know less than half of y'all are subscribed with notifications on? If you sub and hit the bell icon, you'll never miss an upload, and you can always undo it later. The mountains will be just as cold and lonely tonight as they were 200 years ago. Do not ski alone. Okay, we're starting strong. This one's kind of messed up. Sure, encourage me to have a buddy with me while skiing like we're going to the bathroom on a field trip. That's totally fine. But what you don't have to do is first make me fear for my life, and then also remind me how insignificant that life is. It's sending kind of a mixed message, you know? Hey, be sure to do this to avoid dying. If you don't, nothing really changes if I'm being honest. You are no longer trespassing. You are a target. Imagine if you just put those in a public park as your excuse to start blasting. I doubt the law would just let you off because you put warning signs up. And on the opposite end of that, if you ever get hurt or injured in an accident, you may want to check out today's sponsor, Morgan & Morgan. A lot of y'all might not believe your ears that I actually got the sponsor, and I really don't either. But Morgan & Morgan is America's largest injury law firm with over 100 offices nationwide and over 800 lawyers. The whole process with them is free, unless they win your case. That means there's no upfront costs or sign-up fees. That includes the paperwork, research, negotiations, court hearings. It's all free, and you only pay if they win. And if you feel bad at the idea of suing someone, I get it. You think you might be really giving some single person a real hard time, but when you sue for injury, you're not suing the person who caused the injury. You're suing their insurance company that's sitting on billions of dollars. You really shouldn't feel guilty for getting the compensation you deserve. Morgan & Morgan has attorneys focusing on every area of personal injury law. Car accidents, slip and fall, workplace injuries, medical malpractice, nursing home abuse, and even more. If you ever get injured in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. For more info, go to forthepeople.com slash quite or dial pound 529 from your cell phone. Hitchhikers may be escaping inmates. If you willingly take this the wrong way, it almost comes off like a billboard ad for why you should pick up hitchhikers. These aren't your old, boring, run-of-the-mill, potentially dangerous hitchhikers. These ones are definitely dangerous. These guys were already locked up for some shit. It might not have been justified, but they were smart enough to escape prison. So add a little spice to your life and pick up the next guy you see on the roadside. Especially here. Extreme danger. Submerged weir. The drowning machine. My favorite kind of signs are the ones that feel like they're warning you about some shit beyond human comprehension. You're telling me someone made this machine with the express purpose of drowning people? And you let him do it? The poor stick guy in the diagram looks like he's getting sucked into a different dimension. The real horror is what waits for you on the other side of those turning waves. Speaking of drowning though, they really have to put these excessive warning signs literally everywhere. Stop. Prevent your death and go no farther. There's nothing in this cave worth dying for. Do not go beyond this point. Fact. More than 300 divers, including instructors, have died in caves like this. Fact. You needed training to dive, and you need cave training and cave equipment to cave dive. Without it, you can die. Fact. It can happen to you. To me, that's a pretty compelling argument. As someone who never does dive, I'll be sure not to go into any underwater caves that I may never make it out of. But come on, if you're already underwater, you probably ain't reading all that. It's a convincing sign, but it's like three paragraphs, man. Nobody unlimited oxygen is stopping for that shit. Reading is boring and for nerds. Please do not stand, sit, climb, or lean on zoo fences. If you fall, animals could eat you and that might make them sick. Thank you. I think this one's pretty effective. It shows you the zookeepers care about you the least in this park. So if you do get into trouble, no one is coming for you. It basically says, do stupid shit at your own risk. Everything after that is your problem. These are not made. They should never be made. We will not make them, and we will not help make them. Rose talking about a double penis-ended plug like it's the unholy object that'll trigger the rapture. The things with signs like these where they don't explicitly state the gruesome way in which doing something could kill you is that a lot of folks see it as a challenge. There's probably a few of these would-be world-ending artifacts laying around in somebody's garage. He thinks nothing of it. That guy probably lets his kids play with them when he's taking a nap. Warning. Deja vu area. This is your first time here. If this platform feels familiar, immediately alert an MTA employee. If you see something, say something. This might be like just a marketing or publicity stunt thing, but I adore shit like this. I know it's fake and a gag, but it's such a fun little alternate universe concept. I love shit like that. Like living in a world where secretly the supernatural stuff is known about, but not understood or well protected against. So you gotta do like public awareness campaigns of the extra dimensional forces beyond nature and out of our control. I'm gonna be putting signs like that one in here a lot because I like it. Sorry. Even if it doesn't 
doesn't fit. This video is already the closest thing to a long Tumblr post info dumped about one of my interests I've ever done, so might as well commit. Do not fursuit in the woods at night. It's hunting season. This is no joke. Stay on the marked hiking pass. It might not be a joke, but it's still funny. It is until you realize that the warning was made because it actually happened to someone. Actual fursuiters have died to hunters. Look it up. This ride only stops in an emergency. Trying is not an emergency. Okay, this one's not scary. Just an underpaid employee sick of having to listen to parents be worried for their child's safety. I think if you're a parent who gives the ride operator at an amusement park a hard time, you might be actively endangering your kid. You pelt them with questions about the safety on the ride, and as they get more frustrated, your child becomes less and less safe. You piss that operator off just a little too much, they might make a mistake where little Timmy unfortunately falls off the side of the roller coaster. Even if all the other kids have to go with him to make it happen. Warning, you will perish. At least that's what I assume this is trying to tell me. I agree with the caption. What are you warning me against? This looks like someone dying in a very gruesome and unexplainable way, but that doesn't tell me what it is. Is it just like a heads up that no matter what I do here, I'm done for? You can at least say that straight up instead of leaving me guessing and stressing till my brain's outside of my skull over it. 171 persons have drowned in the lake. Three were wearing life jackets and 168 were not wearing life jackets. Yeah, man, that sucks. It's like, yeah, life vests will help your odds, but not even they can really protect you. You're just kind of fucked if you go in there. You can see the numbers on the sign are the kind you can flip over to change the value like you'd see on a gas station. It's like they expect more people to die and they want to be able to update the sign to be as accurate as possible. Having this thing stick out of the water without knowing how far down it goes is a real good scare tactic. I'll tell you, the people whose job it is to design signs that scare folks into not doing some shit are unfairly creative. This container transports a disease which has no cure. That's scary and all, but that container could burst open and let out its humanity ending contents into the world, and I still don't think the Waffle House next to it would close. If you die in a Waffle House, you're doomed to spend the afterlife keeping it open forever. And hey, there are worse places to be trapped for eternity, much less entertaining ones for sure. Persons having currently active diarrhea or have had active diarrhea within the previous 14 days shall not be allowed to enter the pool water. It's less scary, more gross, but the best or worst part, depending on who you ask, about signs like these is that there's always a story there. Some shit, literally in this case, had to happen where they had to put this warning up to make sure it doesn't happen again. Still, if I've already had diarrhea and I'm not actively shitting in the pool with it, how are you gonna know? <laughs> this sign is a shield made of paper mache, meaning it's not stopping shit. Notice, bikers may experience a sensation of static electricity as you pass under the power line. The electric field is within state limits, but an alternative crossing is at Fernbrook Lane. I've been going on about how invisible, made-up things are fun to scare ourselves with, but then I remember those things already exist. Electricity is literally just sky magic we harnessed. It's bullshit. It can be invisible, it's in our bodies, I guess, and it makes you feel things you don't see coming, if it weren't for the sign, that is. Caution, this sign has sharp edges. Do not touch the edges of this sign. Also, the bridge ahead is up. Some guy just wanted to get people to cut themselves on a sign. He is trying to give them tetanus. He knew what he was doing. The bridge warning is included as an excuse. That guy probably sabotaged the damn thing himself, so he had a reason for the local government to let him put up some shit warning that he could prank people with. The slide's closed, and I'm really hoping the same sign is on the entrance of the slide. Oh, don't worry, there is. They just put someone in there before they closed it up. You don't have to worry about getting stuck in there, because it was made to hold somebody else entirely. Emergency siren. If the siren sounds for three to five minutes, tune radio to 97.3 FM. For reference, this is a sign near a nuclear power plant, and I'm not gonna lie, in the case of a nuclear meltdown, if all I needed to do to stay safe was listen to some music, I would not be worried. Is 97.3 a classic rock station or something? I would hate to be the houses around this sign that see it every time they go outside. It must absolutely kill the property value in the area. Not being near the nuclear power plant itself, just getting reminded that it's there. <laughs> Danger. Do not feed or molest the gators. They can't be tamed and they may eat your hand. Florida law prohibits the feeding or molesting of alligators. I was gonna ask why they had to specify the molesting part, but then I saw the Florida and I was like, ah, oh, that's why. Never mind. Danger. Never open this after dark. Always look before you open this door. Your life could depend on it. There's so much mystery in this sign. It's my favorite kind where the threat is just ambiguous enough to let your imagination go wild. Does the door lead outside and the building is shielding you from what's out there? Does it lead to a room that's holding something inside of it that's a danger to you and everybody you love? Why does the dark make it worse of all things? All the grim possibilities of what could kill me beyond those doors makes me want to find out more. This is not a through street. Watch out for flying hammers and broken glass. What? Does it mean like the locals don't take kindly to just any random car making its way through their street? Or is it more like an unnatural weather phenomenon? Solid objects just hail down from the sky like solid fiber-filled shits from God's asshole. Warning, evacuate the island if you hear eight short blasts. That's what I'm talking about. The real ominous and vague shit. You know exactly what you're looking for that means you're in danger, but you have no idea what the danger is. Thank you, Northwestern Energy. What horror are you keeping trapped under a power plant to harness its reserves? This island must have been the perfect place to experiment. 
experiment with it. It's far away from the mainland, and you only have to worry about the locals telling the wrong person. Way less people. Caution. Horses may bite. This dude read the sign, saw the thing it warned about right next to the sign, and still stopped to take a picture of it. That is the exact thought process I expect from someone who would post the picture to Reddit. People like me and the guy who posted this can only process our lives in terms of what subreddit daily events would make a good post in. Hope I get karma in this one. Oh boy. Beware of the door. The door is disobedient. It loves to double lock. If you get locked in, don't panic. Just keep turning the lock. That's right. No matter how many turns it feels like you've made, if it feels like hours, days, weeks have passed, if your fingers are raw and numb from the endless turning of the lock, just remember, no matter what, keep that shit spinning like a penis doing the helicopter. You're almost there. Listen, all you have to do is keep turning the lock. Danger. If you fall in the pond, you will be boiled. <laughs> Listen, I know I have seen this font in a game menu before. I can't remember what game, but I know I did, and it's really annoying me that I can't remember it, so please remind me if you know. It might have been Pokemon Battle Revolution on the Wii. That is actually the only reason this one made it in. This was a 19th century tsunami warning, and it's on a big stone slab, which goes hard as fuck by default, literally. But it supposedly reads, Remember the calamity of the great tsunamis. Do not build any homes below this point. And I think something as perfectly for boating as that, a reminder of history that happened in a place, is a good spot to wrap this one up on. That card I mentioned should be on screen. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Thanks to Morgan and Morgan for sponsoring this video. I still can't believe they did that. Anyways, this has been Quiet, and I'll see y'all next time.